Okay, so today we are going to solve a big issue that most of us are experiencing when designing websites using WordPress, and that is the media folder. As you know, with WordPress, when you add your images to your website, they all go in the same folder. And when you have dozens of images, it becomes really difficult and tedious to find them, unless, of course, you enjoy clicking that load more button a few times. So today I'm going to show you the solution to this problem. I'm going to show you how you can categorize your media in folders and subfolders, name them in a nice logical manner, so it's super easy for you to find them when you need them. Now, it's also worth mentioning at the start of our video that this solution works with Elementor, Gutenberg, WP Bakery, Beaver Builder, Oxygen, DV Builder, Thrive Architect, Slider Revolution, etc. etc. Okay, so let me show you how this works. Okay, very good. So let's say you're working on a page on your website and you want to insert an image. So if you click on this, you go to style and then you can select the image you want to insert. So if you click on this, you can open your media library. And as you can see, if you scroll down the page, it's only going to load 80 images at a time. So perhaps you have hundreds of different images. So what you have to do next is to click load more. Wait patiently, scroll down the page. If the image is not there, do so again and again and again and again until you find your image, which is rather annoying. You have to agree, it's very frustrating and, and you waste a lot of time in the end. So today I'm going to show you a nice solution that will allow you to avoid all this hassle and make it very simple. So what we're going to use is called cat folders. So basically this is a free plugin. There's a free and a paid version. So I'll leave all links in the description below. Feel free to use either of them. So what we need to do basically is to install this on our WordPress installation now. And for that, we go back to our WordPress dashboard. We go to plugins, add new. In the search box, type in cat folders. And there it is. So you can install now and then activate. So there you go, as you can see, this is installed and activated, cat folder light. So this is the light version, this is the free version. But for the sake of our tutorial, I'm going to install the pro version now so I can show you all the different features. Very good. And now that our cat folder pro plugin is installed, we can go to our media library and categorize all our different images. So as you can see at the moment, we have 248 of them. And as mentioned earlier, it's not easy to find the pictures that you want, basically, because they're all dumped into one folder. So perhaps you have different categories, maybe you have different uh, products, maybe you're running an e-commerce website like we have here with WooCommerce. So obviously all your products will have a picture and now you can categorize them basically by, by type of category, type of product and subcategorize them as well as you wish. So as you can see, we have a little bit related to uh, real estate, something related to cars, hotels, uh, doctors' practices, barbershop and so on and so on. So perhaps you want to break this down in different sections. So how can we do this? Well, as you can see here, we have a button here that says new folder. So let's start with the first ones here. All these are related to real estate. So let's create a new folder. And now we can add all these first images to our section. So what we're going to do, you can select one at a time, drag and drop just like this, okay? Or you can bulk select them all. So as you can see, we have a button here that says bulk select. So click on this and then select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 images perhaps, okay? And now we can move them to that folder. Now you can cancel and there you go. As you can see now, all our real estate images have gone from the main media library and they're all in the real estate folder. So if you click on this, as you can see, I have 11 of them and they're all related to real estate. And then you can do the same now with the other section. So let me create another few folders here very quickly. So there you go, perhaps something like this. You have real estate, beauty salon, car dealership, hotel booking and medical center. Now let's add the images to this now. So bulk select. So basically something like this. As you can see now, we have five different categories and all the images related to that subject. Now, what if you wanted to break this down even further? Let's say we have beauty salon here. What if you wanted to break this down in perhaps hairdressers, maybe barbershop and nail salon and spa perhaps, okay? So all you have to do is to click on this and now we can create a folder within that folder, okay? So a subcategory basically. So let's create a new one together, okay? So let's start maybe with hairdressers. Okay, save and let's add a second one. So barbers, maybe this time, okay? There you go, barbershop. And now we can add our different images. So again, we can bulk select them all. As you can see at the moment, these are under the beauty salon. Maybe you want to move them into hairdressers. Again, you can bulk select, select them all, then drag and drop them in hairdressers. 
very good. And then we can do the same with the other one. So we go back to our main media library and from here we can bulk select those items. These are all for barbershop. Move them here. So now if you click on any of those sections, as you can see, this one is hairdressers. It's all related to hairdressers. This is all about barbershop. If we go to car dealership, we can see it's all related to cars and so on. And now you can break this down as you want, basically, okay? And now if you go back to our Elementor page, if we click on our image, it's the same thing. Basically, you have all the categories and subcategories. And it's going to be super easy for you to find what you're looking for. So let's say if you're looking for car dealership, click on this, select the image that you want, and then you can insert sort it on your page but this will work also for your product if you have product like woocommerce and you create your product section and you want to change the image as well you can access it immediately from here so if you click on this now as you can see now we have access to the same folders right there and you can immediately find the image that you're looking for and also something very handy when you upload a file now as you can see you can select the folder in which you're going to import that image as you can see here we can select among all these different options so maybe the image you're going to upload is related to medical center now you can go and select your file and it will be uploaded immediately into that folder medical center here so as you can see this is a very nice plugin isn't it which i'm sure is going to save you a lot of time and hassle as well now, if you want to learn how you can customize your WooCommerce emails, you can watch this video here.